Please, Mr. Fisherman. What shall I do? Have you a lobster or I can buy from you? Sing your roll, tiddly old top shit or bust. Never let your orchestras dangle in the dust. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, no, it's just one verse, mate. Do they have them sing out? Oh. It's not, it's not on any compilation I've got. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I can't I believe it. that. So, I thought Bruce Springsteen did that one. <laughs> so, so, Nick Humphrey, John Dalton, arguably one of the most famous rhythm sections uh, in British rock. Here you are in Ipswich. Nice, nice to be here. Wonderful yeah. place. So Last time I was there, I was picking up furniture. <laughs> now I'm picking up a drink. Hey, Cheers. Question. Um, Ray Davies's famous, well-received book, X-Ray, is rumoured to be all about you. Is that true? Um, I haven't read it, so I don't know. <laughs> but, um, John's read it. Oh, but does it read segments true? about me? It's not all about me. Oh. All the uh, um, stuff, you, yeah, all the gritty stuffs about me. And so it's true. Yeah. All the uh, filth and gossip and and and. Uh, all the stuff I stuck up for you for? Yeah. And it's all true? And that's all, oh, okay. that's all in there, yeah. apparently. David and I used to have a little boy band back about 20 years ago. Yeah. 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 Shout out to the croaky, husky and horse. Uh, I was horse. Yeah, nothing to do with my singing voice. Yeah. Yeah. you had two stints in the Kings before you finally became a king. Yeah. How did that come? What happened there? Who well, um, I've done the first. Well, uh, um, I've done the first spot, and then I've got time off for good behaviour. <laughs> so they let me out for a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's just um, Pete just wanted to come back. You know, he thought he was. He, he actually time. left, officially left, but then uh, after an accident, it, it wasn't. You know, he formed this band called Maple Oak. Which what was it called? Maple Oak. Maple Oak. And it wasn't. Yeah. He, he thought it was going to be a really big band, and it you know, didn't do too much. Uh, so, so he I suppose you ran out of money. I suppose that's the thing. You know. And then you gallantly stepped aside and back said, "Right, well, here's, here's your spot back." And, and then uh, he left. He left up the arse, was not it? <laughs> <laughs> From kinks to cold. So I did. Get out. And, it's, and then you obviously came back. What in time for what? What was the? It was like the low level. Eight man period. No, 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 no that before that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember. Dead End Street. Was it? No, that was that was uh, earlier. Well, that was sixty six oh. when we done that. Oh. That was your first recording session. Was Dead End Street. Yeah. So it's so like nine and six eight six. Yeah, we we done two. It, the was, Arthur album, it was two right? versions, you see. Um, um, when I first joined, Shell Torme had done the first version of it, and Ray was just <laughs> trying to take over the producing himself. So um, we used to sneak in the studio late at night and then re-record stuff again, you know, we re-recorded... Over shop and stuff? Yeah, because you can hear Mick and I's um, wonderful vocals on Dead End. Dead, Dead End. End! Like that it was. And it was out of time as well, like that. No. Dead End! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my favourite bit. Yeah. 